protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com In 1993, Hillary Clinton ordered Vince Foster's dead body to be moved and dumped to avoid a murder investigation. New York Times best-selling author Roger Stone names names. The Clinton's War on Women in stores now. I was saying, what's on your radar? And he was saying, well, look at Iran, how her emails have now gotten this guy executed. Just an example of how bad she is. Plus, they're sending 400 million to Iran. They lied about. Now we've got Hillary basically falling down having to be helped upstairs. Look, I don't hype stuff, okay? I've got plenty of real stuff to cover. I'm not saying she looks like a lunatic on the campaign trail because I want to act like she's got a problem. They're saying Trump's got mental problems. They're saying he's got health problems. They're saying his wife's a prostitute, an illegal alien, all this crap. The point is Hillary looks like a dying woman, and now DrudgeReport.com, we can put it up, because he has the big double photo, the panoramic with her basically falling down, having to be held up. This just broke. We're going to put it up on Infowars.com as well. Uh, but, I mean, what's really going on, Roger? She looks like she's in bad shit. She's got holes in her tongue. She looks like she's got, I'm sorry, Down syndrome whenever she's out there with the balloons falling, like she's a three-year-old with a lobotomy. What's going on with Hillary? What's the inside intel, Roger? Yeah, I... I New York Democrats who uh, who move in those social thing, uh, circles uh, were very surprised even when she ran uh, because her health is not good. Bill's health is also not good. Uh, but I, I think she has had uh, – she's either had a small stroke uh, or she has had some other disorder. Those strange glasses she was wearing for a while, kind of a tip-off, uh, she seems to be – to have no stamina whatsoever. So I think it is probable that she's got very serious health problems. Remember in the debate when she was gone for 10 minutes? Yeah, very strange. Very, very strange. I think this is a liability. This is typical of what happened. I mean, why Bill and Hillary can't ride off into the sunset with their stolen hundreds of millions and their fame and be happy, I don't know. Uh, they're going back to the to uh, the table one time too many, and I think it's all going to catch up with them. They were able to suppress the major scandals that they have survived. Now those all get a nice, healthy review like they never happened. But, I mean, it's not like we're cherry-picking videos. I randomly watch her. In fact, I want to do this so we get more clips to always pay attention to. She acts freaking nuts everywhere. She, like, stomps around like she's crazed on a power trip. I mean, I, I, I mean quite frankly, this is what you see in mental institutions. Well, if you go to the Clinton's war on women, I spent a lot of time talking about what I think are her dual personalities. On the one hand, uh, she uh, poses as this friendly grandmother, uh, uh, you know, with the phony smile. But then her real personality, she's a short-tempered, foul-mouthed, uh, abusive, uh, volcanic, angry, uh, greedy psychopath. Who is Hillary then, boiling her down? She's a, she's a psychopathic criminal. She is a, 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 where do we get the idea that someone becomes qualified to become president of the United States because they married some hillbilly who was successful in Arkansas politics and then became president in two three-way races? Let me remind you, no Ross Perot, no Bill Clinton. So uh, you can say that, well, that's brilliant, but in, in both cases, he won with the minority of the vote. Uh, more and more evidence uh, of uh, cheating by the Clintons in the Bernie uh, Sanders uh, hoax, the, the takedown of Bernie. And the reason that's significant is, quite simply, if the Clintons will steal the election from Bernie, why wouldn't they steal it from, from uh, uh, Donald? Is Obama not? I mean, Obama having to come out and respond to it. He doesn't like that. No, I don't think so. I, 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 think, that, I think that that made me certain when he said it's ridiculous i immediately began to fear that that's exactly what we were going to have absolutely roger stone stonezone.com you've designed the new clinton rape shirt available at infowarsstore.com exclusively thank you so much also uh, their war on women there to give a liberal that, that's available at infowarsstore.com roger thanks for the time we'll talk to you this week thank you alex 
Talk show host is Alex Jones. He's a he's a conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host and conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. And deeply, I think, racist. I just got called racist by MSNBC. I don't want that man to have a gun. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Alex Jones Show. Watch the free stream live at Infowars.com forward slash show. Special Forces selection. It's not like you could ever take the easy road. You, know, you can't take steroids to make, you know, being a Special Forces operator easy. I'm always looking for the best and natural way to get myself to the limits. I have to have the edge on my opponents. I believe that super male vitality, you know, that gives me the edge. I've been taking it, and I'm still getting faster and stronger every day. Start your journey to super male vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com.